Hello, I'd like to talk about uh, tension and, and game length. Um, and uh, I think this is sort of an interesting uh, topic. I mean, uh, we got a, a lot of criticism for our game length, but I think, uh, you know, I mean, we, we set out to make a short game, and, and if you look at the original design deck, uh, which is a little different than what we actually made, but, but I proposed that a playthrough would be 45 minutes to 60 minutes, and there'd just be a ton of branches. Uh, you know, what we ended up with is a longer playthrough, you know, an hour to, to, um, hour and a half to two hours, I think, for, for a playthrough. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, uh, there's probably, well, I mean, there, there's, that's six to the end, and then there's three other, uh, nightmares, so, uh, you know, that's, uh, uh, two-thirds of the content, uh, in one playthrough, and then the other third, um, you know, uh, you have to unlock it and find it, so that could take some extra time, but, I mean, yeah, you know, you're looking at three to four hours of gameplay, um, <clears throat> you know, the, the question is, would we have been better off making a, uh, three-hour, three to four-hour long game, um, and I think, you know, it's tough, uh, and, and that's something that I wasn't ready to do because I think, you know, 90 minutes to two hours is a good length for tension, right? That's, that's proven by the fact that, you know, you look at any horror movie, and they're usually, I mean, with the exception of, like, The Shining, which is, is like, you know, uh, I think two hours and 20 minutes, is that they they can pull off an hour and a half to two. And maintaining the tension over a longer period of time uh, seems very challenging. Um, and honestly, I didn't know that I would be able to pull it off. And, and, and I mean, obviously, you know, the, the, the critics who, who, who didn't appreciate the atmosphere at all uh, would disagree, um, but I think everyone who enjoyed the game, you know, really felt that tension, and they really felt it ratchet up. And I mean, I would say over the, our, uh, you know, over each nightmare, we do a little bit of tension release, but I mean, I in general, it, it just keeps building. And that's really hard. And I mean, uh, you know, my personal favorite horror game series is, is Silent Hill. Is Silent Hill 2's favorite game, well, one of my favorite games, and definitely my favorite horror game. Uh, but but if you look at Silent Hill, there there's sort of a tension and release. You know, there's the other world, and then there's sort of the, you know, wandering around the city of Silent Hill. And I like both, you know, I think Silent Hill has a really great feel to it, the, the Silent Hill city, you know, um... Uh, and, you know, the other world certainly is, is, uh, you know, where the game really shines, um, but, you know, I think if they made the entire game in the other world, you know, for, for an eight-hour runtime, um, or however long it takes you to beat a Silent Hill game, uh, it would be, it, it, it just wouldn't work as well, and so I think they, they did a really good job. Uh, you know, creating atmosphere when you're not in the tense situations, but also, you know, having this sort of back and forth, uh, tension and release, uh, which is not at all what we wanted to do, and honestly, I think, um, you know, if, if we do another game, I, I think I would like to, you know, continue with the tension build up, and, and I think I'm a little more confident in my skills, although, uh, I mean, my confidence has been uh, shaken a bit, a bit by by some of the negative feedback. But you know, I think I think we could do uh, a longer tense experience. I think it it, it might be possible. Uh, I mean, obviously, I don't know for sure. And you know, I mean, like. It's interesting, I mean, uh, you know, we got a lot of criticisms for, you know, only having a few different locations and not enough art and, and, and creating variety and, and uh, uh, I mean, that's sort of a, a weird thing um, because, uh, I mean, 
you know, we could have had more wallpapers or something, and uh, we could have had more paintings, but, uh, I mean, fundamentally, the, the mansion looks similar, you know, all throughout the, the mansion, uh, and, um, you know, we, we definitely, um, uh, meant to, uh, you know, meant for it to be sort of like theme and variation. Uh, so, I mean, that was deliberate. Uh, but, I mean, also, it was really tough doing new locations. And, and uh, you know, it could add an extra month to uh, developing a, a, a level um, uh, when we had to do, you know, complete tile sets from, from scratch and, and also, you know, figure out what the, the art style was and all that. Um... So, I mean, uh, but it's interesting because you look at PT and no one complains that it only takes place in the hallway and it just keeps repeating. Uh, and, and even, like, Fatal Frame 3, I've been playing. I haven't finished it. Ugh. It's embarrassing how long I've been w working on Fatal Frame 3, but honestly, it's a little dull. I mean, com you know, Fatal Frame 2 and 1, again, I think they really intelligently reused the, the house and, and mixed it up. Uh, well, in, in Fatal Frame 1, I'm, and, and that was sort of one of the models, was Fatal Frame 1. But also, you look at, like, Amnesia, and the, you know, you're in a castle. There's not a lot of variety in the castle. So, I mean, I don't really know, and, and I guess this is sort of a big segue, um from what I originally set out was tension and game length, but I, I guess it wraps into game length is sort of why I was thinking about it, is how do you create a unique, um, uh, you know, playtime with unique art assets and not, you know, have a billion dollar budget? Um, and I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if... Uh, you know, people are, uh, you know, if it's just that, uh, you know, we reuse some things, um, I mean, I think part of it was, you know, we maybe didn't have enough interesting things, um, uh, in, in the mansion or, or things like that, or, or maybe it just ties back into the fact that, that we didn't have a lot of interaction, um, uh, you know, maybe if we had drawers and you could open every drawer, all of a sudden that would feel different. I don't know. Um, but, but, you know, I, I think it, it, it's definitely something I would consider, you know, for, for the next game is doing a longer game length and seeing if we could keep that tension, uh, up for, for the entire game. And I don't know, I mean, maybe we would have to restructure it, you know, do like a hub world where you're kind of safe and then you venture into the unknown. Or, um, you know, I mean, certainly like if you look at, at other games, it's certainly like Amnesia is sort of based around a hub. Silent Hill 4, the room, is really based around a hub. Fatal Frame 3 has the hub of, of your, your house, and you can explore the house, and it's, it's reasonably safe. Uh, I mean, uh, that sort of structure um, gives you some... Uh, <sighs> that structure gives you some... Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it maybe gives you some extra play time, because then you have to walk from the hub to... X location, and then you have to, you know, potentially walk to, from one edge of the hub to the other. But, I mean, I don't know if that really fixes the playtime uh, issue, you know, just by padding it out, uh, making it less linear. Uh, and, and, I mean, again, I don't know if you can keep that same level of tension if people are like, oh, I'm in safe walking mode. Um... And, and, I mean, you can always subvert their expectations and make things, you know, less safe, but, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a tough thing, and, and, uh, I mean, um, I like the idea of creating short, uh, focused, uh, horror games, but, I mean, definitely I think I would want to experiment with, um, <clears throat> Uh, stretching it out, uh, a little, um, you know, I mean, uh, I, we had set out to make, uh, more, um, 
levels, uh, more, uh, enemies, um, more everything, um, but I'm still happy with what, what we delivered, but, you know, uh, hopefully now that we have, you know, better tools and, 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 uh, experience making never-ending nightmares, you know, we could, uh, create content better, faster, uh, you know, and whatnot for, um, for future projects, so, um, I don't know, I feel like I didn't really quite cover the whole idea of tension or, or really capture, uh, you know, the, the challenges of, of making, um, a tense experience over, over a longer period of time, but it's, it's definitely something that, that is challenging, but, you know, perhaps it's, I'm, I'm up to the challenge, but, I mean, again, I don't think I would want to make a horror game that's longer than three or four hours, um, I mean, uh, certainly, uh, not as an indie, you know, on a shoestring budget, which, you know, I mean, we don't have a ton of resources, um, but, I mean, even still, I think, you know, like, F Fatal Frame 3, I, I don't know, I'm, like, maybe halfway through the game, and I'm already, like, eight hours into it, and I just keep playing the same levels, and sometimes they're different characters, sometimes, I don't know, and I'm even playing with a walkthrough, and I can't even imagine how long the game would be if I weren't using a walkthrough. I don't know. But, I mean, it'd be great if people, you know, thought about the quality of experience, you know, versus just the time. But, I mean, I don't know if people think what they think. So, uh, something to, to be aware of for, for, the, for future projects. Anyway, thanks for watching.